हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट and confidence in science and engineering subject today in our playlist of project management we'll discuss the scheduled sequence of different phases for a project during its life cycle period such as initiation planning execution closure along with monitoring and control and we'll study specific objective task working and deliverables of different phases in a project life cycle so let's start let us first answer what is project life cycle so project life cycle is a sequence of some phases or distinct stages which come one after another with a little overlapping through which a project progresses from start to end to achieve its assign goals now each phase outline some specified work that need to be done and by whom those work has to be done and what end results that phase will produce everything is specified in order to be a phase to be completed there are some assigned specified deliverables and results that need to be completed and handed over to concern and then only the next phase and the project progresses to achieve its end goals the number of phases in a project 4 5 or 6 and their sequence and overlapping may vary from project to project or company to company but generally a project life cycle includes the first initiation then project planning project execution and closure in between we need the monitoring and control of project activity at each stage or in each phase the project manager has to prepare required documentation and he will use specified management tool like gantt charts kanban boards or project dashboards to plan schedule and track the project on specified lines this sequence of different stages or life cycle of a project gives a practical approach and a logical progression for achievement of end goals in any project or problem solving exercise in general the project life cycle typically involve these four stages the project is identified and preliminary cost benefit analysis decide initiation of project then appropriate planning is done to execute the project as per assigned scope with best utilization of time and resources execution is visual part of project management where major work is actually performed and ultimately when end results are achieved project is successfully closed during project management appropriate monitoring and control of different activities is required and for that feedback and communication among team member is very important in all these stages project initiation is the start of project with identification of business case and it may involve feasible study based on cost benefit analysis and all principal dimensions such as technical financial economic social and so forth are properly analyzed to establish the justification of project and only after that any project is initiated in any project during initial stage the scope of project is identified and prospective stakeholders to whom this project is designed are identified and as per those stakeholders the project scope is developed and during that a rough estimation of time and resources to achieve project goal is developed and we popularly call it project charter which is basically a statement of all those works which a project has to perform project charter is approved by stakeholder and then project deliverables the expected output over the life of successful completion of projects are defined or the result delivered to the client or stakeholder at the end of projects are identified and when all this is done the manager for project project manager is selected and tentatively project team is also formed once project is approved the activity of initiating phase increases its level at a very fast rate as shown by this brown characteristic and at the same time the project also undergo planning phase 
one important part of project planning is do not plan in isolation but include all those who are involved in project or stakeholder in project so that after this associative planning fewer issue remain further down the line and majority of issue will be handled during the planning stage only now this project planning phase set smart goals smart means specific measurable attainable realistic and timely that means at project planning stage the goals which are set should be very specific everyone should got the same meaning for those goals they are measurable attainable realistic and can be achieved in a specified time frame project planning phase create a project plan for further execution and this project plan include the sequence of task 1 2 3 the detail of allotted budget all requisite work schedule details of available resources timelines for different assigned tasks all probable risk and constraints are also analyzed in project planning the completeness and the continuity of all task is the basic requirement for a successful project planning all plan need to be adapted to local conditions political environment administrative economic or cultural condition particularly if the success of project also depends on changing behavior of these conditions in project planning phase a detailed project report dpr which specify various aspects of project is finalized and that dpr will become a base for the further execution and monitoring and control of project some of the significant features of project planning phase include scope statement where detailed specification of work and its area are specified then task assignments for different part works are performed in planning phase all probable risk are anticipated during the project timing of different milestones are set quality plan and standards are specified and during execution the structure of mutual communication and prioritization and breakdown of different work structure is performed the main deliverance of this planning phase is a detailed project report a project communication plan budget baselines project scheduling and goals of different teams and individuals the project execution or implementation phase is the time phase of project when actual works get done or we can say this project implementation phase is visible and doing phase where we can visualize the work which are performed in any project life cycle the execution project increase its level of activity only when majority of planning work has been completed and this executing phase with increase level of activity consume the maximum amount of project resources and energy and the same is also necessary to accelerate the pace of project as this execution is the key project activity in its life cycle during project execution phase all project team members are coordinated and guided through proper communication system to get the work done as explained in approved project management plan in the project execution phase the project manager assign the required resources and timeline to project team and task owner of team begin their work and project manager oversee monitor and track their performance so that all tasks are done in a timely manner and workflow is maintained in a smooth continuous manner if by better planning and monitoring during project execution phase if process of assignment of project priorities is improved and operational sequence is set as per the output project deliverables the desired outcomes then we will definitely gain benefit of better utilization of valuable resources and this will definitely increase the success rate of project and definitely reduce the errors and losses monitoring and controlling in any project that is managing the work of project and finance and resources of the project in a timely manner is a big part 
in all phases of project life cycle whether it is planning execution or even closer at every stage the project deliverable the desired output of projects are measured against the set metrics during the project planning stage and the time cost and the performance of project are compared for judgment at every stage in terms of schedule of work quality standard and budget and time baselines decided during the project planning now in this monitoring and control conditions the necessary adjustments are made to the project activities the resources and the planning is also adjusted so as to keep the working of project on the right track as per the targeted deliverables of the entire project once any team completed all its assigned task and the project owner sign off that output of team project work or deliverables are complete and to the satisfaction of project guideline then that part of project is treated as closed and in project closing phase the contracts which are made for project execution are properly terminated for all equipments vendor or working staff members now the project manager must disassemble the apparatus ensure the payments to all concerned sign off all necessary document which are necessary to fulfill the project requirement and now those documentation are handed over to project owner and if it is required these documents can be handed over to ongoing maintenance organization for that project when the project is completed and handed over to ultimate end user the project team once again sit together and analyze the work of project team as per the performance parameter set during the planning phase of project and it will check whether all tasks are completed in scheduled time and budgetary norms at this analysis and postmortem generate a comprehensive and detailed review of the element of success and failure during the project as this postmortem or review analysis is required so that success can be repeated in next project implementation and the same mistakes can be avoided in the life cycle of project at different time instant different phases got different level of their activity and some phases even overlap in certain time duration in initiation and planning actual physical visualization of project outcome or deliverable may not be visible the visible part is in fact executing part and closing part if we study ultimately the percentage of project work completed during time in life cycle then growth of project or percentage of project completion with time from start to 100% end of project got either s shape or a j shaped path in general for a medium or large size project this s shape path of percentage completion of project work with time is more common and in this s shape path the progress of project is slow in the starting and in termination phase but is fast in the execution phase in such projects at the beginning when the detailed sector wise planning and coordination among various implementing agencies taking shape the progress of project is little slow similarly near termination or closer conditions when the arrangement of transfer and maintenance of assets are to be created and executing agency and stakeholders are handing over deliverables to each other the progress become slow and take more time in j shaped cycle path the progress is slow in beginning due to various works related to planning phase but once execution phase started quick momentum in the projects will take place and progress of project improves at a fast rate and same rate continue till end of project as rigorous activity of handover of deliverables to stakeholder is not an issue in such projects to summarize key point in project life cycle we can say don't jump right into execution or development activity as planning is more important for a successful execution 
so after initiation of project one must understand the problem carefully and try to solve the problem with proper planning in initial phase only during project life cycle the project management must facilitate very good communication among team members so that the proper collaboration of team member can be obtained and project can be successfully completed within specified time and budget conditions as per scope by good engagement of team members in the project during project execution stay focused on the outcomes and consistently monitor and measure the level of progress to ensure timely execution within budgetary norms as per specified scope we hope this beautiful learning video has explained each and every aspect of project life cycle and now you could understand the significance of project initiation importance of planning in project management execution and closing part of a project life cycle and the requirement of monitoring and control in this project life cycle if you found this work useful do share it with your friends our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful and you can learn the subject of project management by these videos happy learning have nice time thank you very much